All right. Good morning. I'm going to record a second one here. This is August 12th, um, RPG a day, 2022. This question says, why did you start role play gaming? Holy cow. Do I love that? Why? I live in my head, right? As a kid uh, with a chronic illness, I was born with uh, chronic asthma. I still treat asthma daily twice a day i've had to i've had to control my asthma my entire life many many times in the emergency room so i spent much of my youth restricted to my house restricted to my bedroom so I, you begin to recognize you better rely on something other than going out riding bikes with your buddies or out in the blizzard to make snowmen or so uh, i turned very uh, much inward right i was very creative is uh, i can remember creating my first dice game at like eight years old making using dice to make a kickboxing game and i i lived in my head and i would i would break out our old status pro football and i would just look at players and teams if i couldn't play with the guys and uh i would read of course and comic books inspired this imaginative visual world and movies and my parents were very very open-minded i have two older brothers my parents went through everything before i came along they were they're they're so much older than me they're like uncles so for me, and of course I had a, a literally it was I was blessed to grow up in a neighborhood where there was about six of us living in the neighborhood, and we were all the same age. So we all grew up together. We rode bikes together. We went to school together. We played football together. We played everything. We did everything. But there was a big difference between my childhood and my closest friends. My parents were very laid back. My parents uh, re understood giving me responsibility, and if I took advantage of that, I would lose certain freedoms, etc. And we had rules, of course. But for instance, uh, we, uh, we were a big film family. We would go to the movies every Friday or Saturday night. Sometimes we'd go Friday and Saturday nights. What we did as a family, R-rated meant nothing to us. They were my guardians. If I saw Jaws when it was released. I was seven years old. Here I was watching Jaws. And so I was the one kid in the whole neighborhood that was allowed to go to these movies. And every Friday or Saturday night, I would go. And um, my brother would take me to movies. And so because none of my friends could see these R-rated movies or were going to the movies like I was, guess what I would do? I would sit around, I'd get on for the movies and I'd get all my buddies together the next day or that evening or that afternoon if we went to a matinee. And I would sit all my buddies down and I would recap the film for them. I would tell them the story of the movie. Dude, Joss, these guys, and they go do this. And then the shark gets them and man at the end. They, and I would, that's how it started. I was six years old telling stories. Never thought about writing. And, and only now am I writing. Only now am I working on my first fantasy novel, a novelette, so to speak. And But I wrote professionally, you know, covering high school sports for a newspaper, but that's different. Who, what, when, when, why, how? In the first paragraph, you know, uh, Jonestown High School defeated, you know, uh, tromped over Mitchell High School 42 to 7. And, you know, then you go through the details of a quick article. It was very, 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 you know, basic uh, 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 eighth grade level newspaper uh, high school sports coverage right so and i had aspired early in college to take english and writing classes and ultimately evolved into pl political science pre-law but but i never quite thought of myself as a storyteller that way and so role playing for me was a way for us to first take everything we'd all been reading we'd all been reading comic books we'd all been i'd been reading lord of the rings and jeff had been reading lord of the rings and the hobbit and Conan and comic books. And so we'd get together and say, here's a place for us to be these things or be in these worlds. It was a place for us to actually become the hero of our favorite genres, right? Our favorite things or movies. Eventually movies became interesting, Star Wars, etc. And so that's part of where I come from. I came from a guy uh, and I, deep down, I, you know, as a young, young man, I, I remember wanting to be an actor. I told my Mother and father, that's all I want to be as an actor. And so they were like, okay, go for it. You know, it's hard work, good luck. And of course, part of that is because I want to be an entertainer. Later, after acting, I realized I really don't want to be an actor, but I enjoy entertaining. I enjoy talking. I enjoy telling stories. I enjoy providing a space, a, a safe space for people to come and, and have fun and have adventures and watch movies or whatever we were doing, right? Uh, eventually, I was making music with one of my closest friends for years because you want to entertain people. I like entertaining. And I would go to these movies and see these movies and I'd come home and sit my buddies down and I would tell them to tell the movie. I just saw Jaws and 
oh man, I went and saw uh, the Gauntlet, the, the Clint Eastwood movie. And they're like, ooh, Gauntlet. Oh, I, you know, I tell them the story of Clint Eastwood's character in the Gauntlet, you know, and or Josie Wells or whatever movie my parents drug me to that weekend. And it was a natural transition to then want to become a storyteller or present worlds where they could partake, right? Um, so it was just natural for me. Role playing was because I spend much of my time in my head. Um, yeah, I used to love, I still do, the Calvin and Hobbes uh, strip. Uh, I had, when I first saw Calvin and Hobbes, I went, dude, this is me. You know, you're imagining the teacher as a dinosaur, right? When And you're drawing pictures of dinosaurs and you should be studying. You should be doing your homework. I hated school. <laughs> school school to me was, I, I never liked school. So Calvin and Hobbes was me, right? It was here I was this kid and constantly imagining. Uh, and that's how I lived my life. So role playing was a no brainer. It was going to happen. Some way, if I, if I didn't find it and it had not yet been invented, you can bet I would have been inventing it you can bet i would have been finding a way to do this thing with other human beings uh especially when it came to sharing a story a tell so there's another long answer to a, a what could have been a short uh a short question a long answer to a short question but i'm telling you um it, it it's it's fun to think about these things it's fun to go hmm why did i start role play so there it is folks august 12th rpg day 2022 Fantastic week so far of questions. Everybody out there have a fantastic week. See you again. Bye-bye.